Women United got started. There was a conference that United Way was holding in DC for women and we were invited to go and we showed up. I had never been to a conference with all women before, so there were several hundred women in the room. And soon as the speaker started talking, we knew we had to bring this back to our community. Knowing that statistically speaking, that the people that receive more help from the United Way agencies are female, that perhaps it was an opportunity to get women in our community uh, involved in using philanthropy in their own name. When we started the Women United program, which I believe was called the Women's Initiative at that time, I was the first chair of that for the first two years. Uh, 22 years ago, I had an invitation from Michelle Anderson and Paige Romick to meet them for lunch. And I thought, okay, sure, I'd love to meet you. And they were talking about um, a program called the Women's Initiative at the time. And uh, they asked me to take over for Paige. And I said, okay, I can do that. I'd like to do that. But little did I know that the seeds have been planted for this luncheon. We planned for a 350 person lunch and we were sitting around thinking, how are we gonna get 350 women to come to a lunch? And then 650 women later. And that summer, I, uh, Michelle and I both hardly slept. Um, we didn't know if anybody would show up. And seriously, you just, we didn't know till we started getting the RSVPs how many women would receive this in a positive way. We were overwhelmed with hundreds of women who showed up and the generosity um, at that first meeting. We um, outgrew that venue in the first year. We had no parking, hardly enough parking to get everybody in. We launched this huge successful initiative that we could have never predicted would have had the success it's had. I loved Women United because it was women working to help women and their families. And it was also always about um, measurable results and um, really kind of to track what we did and not just sort of throw money at a problem, but really try to be solution-based and help the women grow and, and be able to be self-sufficient long-term. I was one of the volunteers that went to uh, visit Harlem Children's Zone in Harlem in early 2012. And the organization's goal was to increase the graduation rate for high school and college students in Harlem. Women United created an initiative with the similar goals for our community here. So I joined the board of Women United because I believed in their goals and their mission. What I love the most about Women United is that there are women of all ages and all backgrounds involved. For $1,000, you can become a Women United member and you can write a check or you can pay 52 times through payroll deduction. So it really gives many women the opportunity to participate. You can be a woman in the community who is known for your philanthropy, or you could be a silent woman who is quiet in their philanthropy, but everyone has the opportunity. And so many organizations, that's not the case. But at Women United, that is definitely the case. We have career women, we have stay-at-home moms, we have women who have retired. We have just a, a whole diverse group of women that I would never have known if I hadn't been involved with, with Women United. I think it's unique because women are too often the recipients of what the agencies in this community are doing. And by having women be more involved in directing that and raising the funds for that, um, I think there's more of a connection because there's that much used phrase there, but the grace of God go I. And so I think there's an immediate connection of gratitude that we can be the one helping and not the one needing the help. One of our first projects was to help sponsor uh, children over the summer through a summer school program in some of the um, lower income areas. And they needed uh, bulletin boards put together. There'd be over 30 or 40 bulletin boards that need to be decorated. And the women of the group volunteered and we, we were given a theme and we all came and we decorated our bulletin boards. And the first year, everybody went around and looked at them all and uh, it, it became a competition. <laughs> the next year, it was like everybody had a one-up <laughs> what everybody did the year before. And they had some elaborate bulletin boards over the years as we continued to compete among ourselves. And it, it was a lot of fun. And we all brought our children or our grandchildren. It was a really family-oriented event. So that was a great way to, to engage as well as teach children, younger people, how to help others. 
Being that I sit on the 10 for 10 committee, I would say that my one of the accomplishments I'm most proud of that Women United has done is the foundation and being able to have a foundation where we have $10 million that will be able to support the programs that we are involved with forever. And the two programs that I'm really proud of are Aspire and Strive. I really believe in the mission of these two uh, groups because they are empowering females so that they can fully support their family and not just go from a point of crisis to surviving, but a point of crisis to thriving. I would like to think that it not only continues to grow, but someday sitting in the audience are some of the women that we've been able to help and that they've establish a foundation financially and otherwise in their lives that they can now pass it forward and be people that are helping other women that find themselves in difficulty. My dreams for Women United is that we keep rocking our goals and having every United Way across the country and Women United across the country saying, how do you do that? And the second would be to have one of our participants in our Aspire program chair Women United and share her story about how this organization made a difference in her life and her family's life. I'd say in 20 years, I hope that Women United is even bigger and stronger than it is now. I hope that it's kind of a generational organization and that maybe my kids and potentially even my grandkids are working together to build a brighter future for women and children in our area.